I mean, you're really excited. I'm so excited. I've been so excited twice now this week. I was gutted when it didn't go on whenever it was. All the days of melting into each other. Was it Thursday? No, Wednesday. It was Wednesday, wasn't it, that it didn't, didn't go. And then last night, a spaceship blew up on the launch pad, which was horrendous. I was watching that one live and saw it looked like um, something was coming out from, from underneath. It was like a pipe had come loose or something. And the next thing we knew, which was terrifying. And a friend of mine rang me literally just after it happened. And I was going, you're not going to believe what I've just seen. This spaceship's just blown up. Thankfully, everybody was OK because there wasn't anybody on it. But uh, yeah, that was that was a bit weird. Ah. <sighs> got my look I'll, I'll get up slightly this is the problem with this blinking live streaming off my phone business can't see anything look <laughs> kennedy space center nasa <sighs> from the kennedy space center where i visited about four years ago now went three times because i liked it that much it was great so you can see all of my my stuff here what you can't see is my awesome mission operations patch i think that's the best thing ever love it um and now i've just pulled the whole thing off my sofa this i was supposed to be wearing this but it's so warm that if i tried to wear it i'd just end up melting into a heap anyway right let's get going because the reason that we're here is a live launch day licorice tasting, which I'm only doing because it all begins with L. Not clever or funny. So we've got three things here, courtesy of Paputin, who is in the chat room, if you want to say hello to her. We have got a Lacritzi raspberry, which is a nice bright pink one. And that is by, I believe, is the company name pronounced is it Fatser? I keep calling it Phaser, but somebody corrected me the other day. I believe it might be Fatser, which is what I'm going to be if I keep eating all this licorice. Then we have Panda Pepe, which is a really long one. It's such a long one, it doesn't even fit on the screen. Now, these ones I am familiar with because Panda has been over here for years and it's the stuff, weirdly, that I see in health food shops a lot. I don't know why that is. Licorice in health food shops. I'm sure this isn't going to be remotely healthy, but that is a uh, strawberry flavour, otherwise known as Manseca. Actually, I've just realised this one said raspberry. I'm sure finish for raspberry isn't raspberry. I don't know what it is. Something else seeker. And then another fatso one. We've got a purple one here. Moomins. And that is a Moustica Valdemar Lacritzi, or possibly a Blah Bar Hallon Lacritz, which I assume is that Swedish, maybe? Hello, Monza says, I hope I haven't missed too much of the fun. No, no, you haven't. Paputin says, healthy food shops sell licorice. Yes, yeah, in Britain, it's really common, or at least it was when I was growing up. It was really common to see panda licorice in health food shops i think it still is um we don't really see this in sweet aisles you might do in big supermarkets but generally you find this sort of thing in like um in health food stores in sort of like ethnic food shops but it's not it's not particularly common which is why this is quite exciting the licorice on that one even looks red so let's see so i think i'm right in saying that I tried some different flavours of these before. I think I've had a lemon one and I think I've had a mint one. And I remember both of them being really nice, but the mint one being particularly good. Everything's just, everything's just melting. It's really warm. I wish I hadn't worn this blinking top. You can't even see it. You can't even see the blinking Kennedy Space Centre top, which I deliberately put on because I thought it was cool. Um, it was not cool, it's boiling. So let's try and get into this. I'm surprised the glue hasn't melted everywhere. We're not in the studio, incidentally, because in case you're not aware, I've had a bit of an incident in the studio and it's out of action and has been for quite a while. 
it's not really worth going into but basically I can't film in there for the time being at least not until the carpets are replaced and the carpet guy funnily enough came out this morning so hopefully it won't be too long look at this poor poor sad licorice which is just melting it's just melting away oh oh I am um, I found a uh, tennis racket hidden at the back of my wardrobe and the rubber had un unvulcanized which is really strange for a tennis racket it was a very old one and it was all sticky and horrible and this this is what outside do you know what guys actually i'm really sorry i'm gonna go off camera just for a moment because i need to take this off i'm so hot it's ridiculous just bear with me for a moment just i don't know just sing yourself some elevator music or something it is baking in here Ugh. Yuck. There we go. I'll add this. Add this onto here. There we go. It's beautiful. It's my favourite hoodie, that. It's amazing. Phew! Underneath it, needless to say, space t shirt. <clears throat> but not a NASA one. It's my, um, it's my astronaut. This is so difficult to do. It's my astronaut balloons t shirt. There we go. <sighs> Monzar is singing the girlfriend of Panema. Good choice. Good choice. You could have equally sung the theme from Vision On. I'd have accepted either of those things, but anyway, right. Now I'm not melting, but licorice probably is. There is the inside of the licorice. It's very difficult to get that in focus because it's focusing on my face. It's doing a great job of focusing on my face. What if I put it in front of my face? There we go. So I was expecting it to be bright pink like the packaging is, but it isn't. So let's give this a go. <laughs> I like the texture of it. I like the texture of the other ones as well. I remember the lemon and the mint ones being very similar to this. I have to say that the raspberry flavour is not that strong, but also, dare I say it, because finished stuff is not usually like this, but that actually tastes slightly artificial. I'm just trying to see the ingredients to see whether it's actually got any raspberry in it. Because the lemon and mint ones were pretty good, if I remember rightly. The text on this is so small and also not in English. <laughs> Maybe somebody would like to go off and find the ingredients of this, but it doesn't taste of raspberry raspberry. It tastes of artificial raspberry. I have another bit. Hmm. I don't think that tastes very much of raspberry, I'm sorry to say. It tastes vaguely of fruit. But, if anything, actually, don't often get to say this, but if anything, it tastes a bit like, like soapy. Maybe licorice and raspberry doesn't go together that well, because the other ones were really nice. But... Yes, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not really a huge fan of that one. That's not. That's not working for me. So let's move on to this monster. I do a big grin, so I can have a thumbnail later. Got everything in it. I've had to abandon the other stream that I set up because it turns out if you set up a stream on your desktop and then try and stream to it with your mobile, it doesn't like it very much. Right. So let's get this out of here. Looking forward to this one. Oh, look, red, red, red licorice, which I don't have very often. And then, if you're one of those people who's trip, trip to phobic or whatever the hell it is, you know where you don't like lotus seeds. Look away now, because that's what it looks like on the inside. It looks like it's got stuff sort of put through it. It's very even on the packaging. It's very even. The real thing is a bit like, you know, Burger King, where you go in and it looks nothing like the product. So, is this a different type of licorice then? Like red, red licorice. Because I didn't really eat it as a kid, so I can't really comment. Strawberry licorice. Oh, it's strawberry licorice with strawberry flavoured filling. 25% strawberry flavoured filling. 
Now this one I can read, this is a nice easy one. So has it got any strawberry? It has, it's got 1.8% strawberry puree in it, this one. I think I just saw Paputin say that the other one has got raspberry in it. And um, the flavour of that is still sticking with me, partly because it's in my teeth. But um, yeah, it doesn't really taste of raspberries. I don't know, I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. Um, I've got a friend who really loves raspberry flavour, like really, really loves it. I should give it to him and see what he thinks. But this is Mansika, which is all strawberry. Oh, it smells of strawberry as well. Let's give it a go. Now that tastes of strawberry. I still think that the licorice and the fruit flavour together possibly doesn't um, doesn't quite go because I wasn't expecting the licorice and the mint one to go but they were they were good but that clearly has got strawberry in it and I think the reason that we have these in health food shops in Britain is because they are actually made of real food whereas not many other things are like sweet other sweets in Britain are not made of real food like I say, this is strawberry all the way through. And the further down I get into it, the more strawberry there is as well. That looks disgusting on camera, doesn't it? In fact, to be honest, it looks pretty disgusting in the room. But it tastes nice. I think, like, I don't like artificial strawberry flavoured things. And I also don't like artificial banana flavoured things, just just as a thing. So I don't like strawberry milkshake. I love milkshakes, but I don't like strawberry milkshake. Um, because it hasn't got real strawberries in it normally. But that has definitely got real strawberries in it because it has a really different flavour. Um, it's difficult to know exactly. I hope, hope you know what I mean when I say this. So artificial strawberry flavour tastes of what a strawberry sh should taste like. But things with actual strawberry in it has a, a kind of a darker darker flavour kind of uh, that settles at the sides of your mouth <laughs> I'm actually not allergic to strawberries and that's not the right way of putting it if I eat too many of them my, my stomach is off and when I say too many I mean like four which is a bit of a shame because I do like them I like the flavour of them so that's a winner that's not like the raspberry licorice that's that's a proper thing that so that leaves us with the moomins Moomin branded. Now, this does not have English, so what is Mustika Bedelma or Blabar Hallon? For those Swedish people among you. Mustika, we've definitely had that before. I recognise the word, but I don't know what it is. Mustika Bedelma. Hmm, double barreled food. Let me see if I can see it on here. Oh, there it is. Oh, I can just about read this. Blueberry, blueberry, of course it is. Blueberry and raspberry yogurt flavoured licorice. Yogurt flavoured licorice. Cool. I thought I recognised the word for blueberry. What did I have blueberry in? What have we, oh, blue, oh, the sweet, the chocolate. The blueberry chocolate. Yeah, okay, Mustika Vedelma, blueberry raspberry. So actually this one, is it, should this one be Vedelma Lucrezzi then, if it's raspberry, have I got that right? Why, why is it Vedelma and not something ending in Ica, which is what all the other, or what all the other berries are? Is raspberry not a berry in Finland? We always learn something about the Finnish language in these streams because I don't know anything about it. Funnily enough, I was talking to a chap. Um, I'm actually doing like um like a, an astronaut training course at the moment. I'm doing this mindset of an astronaut course through Space Nation, and there was a chap who said that he was learning to say thank you in lots of different languages. And I asked him if he'd managed to say it in Hungarian because I once went to Hungary and asked what thank you was in Hungarian, and I still don't know because <laughs> I couldn't pronounce it. But Hungarian and Finnish are supposed to be very very alike language wise which is why my Finnish is terrible, because I couldn't speak Hungarian either. It was really complicated. Apparently once you've got them, though, that's kind of it. You've kind of got it. But yeah, the two languages are very closely related for some reason. 
So anybody care to tell me why, why a raspberry is not an eco? I'd be really interested. So Moomin branded blueberry and raspberry yogurt flavour licorice. I'm intrigued as to whether this is going to have yogurt actually in it. Because yogurt flavour is a bit strange. What we've got going on here? Oh. Ah, now that's what I thought the, the other one would look like in the middle. With a really bright pink. So it looks the same as that. So I'm assuming is this like a kids branded version of a of a Lacruzzi. Well, we'll see whether this one's any better. What I could have done with, oh, I've got some. I'm just gonna wash my mouth out a bit because I can still taste the strawberry, which isn't gonna help. And also it's really hot. Right, so let's see if this is better. I can already, I've, I've barely even got it in my mouth and I can already taste it's much stronger. not gonna lie that seems really chemically as well it's fruitier than the other one was because the other one just tasted of I'm not gonna lie it did just taste of soap this one still has that slightly soapy <laughs> overtone but it smells a lot fruitier and there is an aftertaste of yogurt because I sometimes think that fruit yogurts taste a little bit weird. I'm not convinced that nature intended dairy and fruits go together in quite the way that we do it. I also think that the licorice tastes nicer in that one. If anything, I would say it's just slightly sweeter. I don't know whether it's a bit sweeter because it's formulated for kids. I've always said, say every video, that Finnish sweets and things are nowhere near as sweet as they are in the UK. The aftertaste of that one is a lot nicer than the other one. I still think, to say, I still think there's a, an artificial thing going on with that, but I would much rather have that one than that one, definitely. That's a vast improvement. So there's a bit of a shame because I think I'm right in saying that there's about a billion flavours of this. And I really liked the lemon one, and I really, really liked the mint one. So maybe there are others that I would prefer. But yeah, the aftertaste of this is much, much nicer. I'm just wondering who that character is, because I haven't watched the Moomins in a gazillion years. It used to be one of my favourites as a kid. But I'll have to go back and watch it. They re-released it, I seem to remember, but I think I was quite old by then, so I probably didn't watch it. I'll have another bit of this. I think the fact that I'm still eating it is probably a good sign. The texture of all of them is really good. It's got this kind of satisfying, a bit chewy, but also a bit soft at the same time. In fact, the more I eat that, the nicer it's getting. Because to begin with, there was a, just a slightly chemically thing going on, but it's less so now, so go figure. Um, I think out of the three of it, and that one is a that's an, that's a non-starter for me. But out of these two, I think it's going to have to be this one because, as you know, I do like things with proper natural flavouring in and real food ingredients, which is why American baffles me <laughs> as to how like you see things that say you know naturally and artificially flavoured just. Naturally flavour it, fools. What are you doing? If I can't batch this one, that's now noticeably actual strawberry after having tasted the others. Mm -hmm. It doesn't leave the same feel in your mouth. The artificially ones, you just kind of know. It's a bit like toothpaste. That's what, what it reminds me of, actually. Because I don't use normal toothpaste as much as I can. I get ones that don't have sodium lauryl sulfate or whatever it is in it and they're they're like mint oil and things the flavorings are licorice sometimes funny enough and um you can tell if you go back to 
like I'm on a I'm on Aquafresh at the moment because I just needed to quickly pick some up, and it's really noticeable. It's it's nowhere near as agreeable, and that's what it's like with this. That is artificial, even if it's got a bit of raspberry in it, that comes across as a sort of artificially soapy sort of flavour. Whereas that is strawberries, and it has a totally different mouthfeel. And the aftertaste of that is concentrated strawberries. It's strawberry puree. Whereas the aftertaste of the other ones is is not great. I'm not going to lie. I knew I try to like as much as I can in these streams, but um, I'm just not a fan. And it's a real shame because the previous ones I've tried of these, I have enjoyed a lot. And they were unexpected because I didn't think for a moment that mint and licorice went together in a million years. And I've never seen it. But, uh, but yeah. So yeah, that's a hands down win for the old Panda Pepe there. Paputin says, I think that fats are better in chocolate and Panda is better in licorice. I'm sure you're probably right. Um, the health food shop thing. I think that Panda do carob. I haven't, I don't know, I haven't, I would say I haven't been in a health food shop for ages, I haven't been in a shop for ages, so I'd have to go and investigate and, and see, but yeah, these just remind me of, say, sort of like foreign supermarkets, ethnic supermarkets and health food shops and things, panda products, mm. that's got a very nice aftertaste, I'm very, very happy, very happy about that, um, I'm also very happy about the fact that we're heading for a space launch about half eight tonight, if you look out of your window if you're in the UK this is I don't know about anywhere else I believe it's visible over quite a lot of Europe at least sort of um south of about sort of Scotland you should be able to see it coming up from the southwest there was an ISS pass on the original launch date on Wednesday night um on a similar trajectory and it was relatively easy to see so hopefully you should be able to see the ISS and the Crew Dragon, and also something else. Can't remember what the something else was. And that happened to me the other night. I was looking up and just with naked eye, even with a street light shining in my face, I could see the ISS followed by the supply ship. And then a third thing of light came in the opposite direction. I thought, like, what the hell is that? Is it just a reflection? And it wasn't, it was actually a satellite. So the direction of the sun at the moment is such that you can see all these things with the naked eye and the moon's amazing as well. So yeah, do have a look if you can. There's only, I think, might be three more opportunities to see the ISS before it ends up on a trajectory where we won't be able to see it in the UK anymore. Um, so for everybody else, you'll just have to look it up. There's a brilliant app called ISS Detector that I would strongly suggest downloading because not only does it give you the ISS, it gives you all the comets, gives you all the other things that are flying through the sky, and it's really good. So hopefully, hopefully they'll go because it's still only a 50% chance and hopefully we'll all be able to see it tonight and see um, see it catching up with the ISS, which is like amazingly cool. <laughs> it's uh, it's so weird. It's just a little blink of light in the sky, and you think, oh, I don't want to watch this, but actually it's it's pretty cool when you actually see it because it really shifts as well. It's not a slow thing. It doesn't. It's like a star that's kind of gone out of control. Um, I was looking last night and my next door neighbours happened to be walking in the street outside and I opened the window and yelled at them and said there's the International Space Station so if you can see it do because it gets quite addictive trying to find it. So that's it from me thank you very much to Putin. Um, round of applause for Putin. She sent me loads of other things as well unfortunately because of studio disasters um, having to stay off chocolate for a while and various other things that have gone on I haven't managed to get through everything that she sent me by a long way, so expect plenty of Finnish sweets videos coming between now and about September when they start going out of date. Uh, tomorrow, I have somebody else who has sent me some stuff, and that is Beaches Chocolates in the UK, who are um, a, a very famous company in Lancashire in the UK, and they have sent me a great big pile of chocolate. <laughs> My whole flat is now just full of full of chocolate from all over the world. Um, I'm going to be trying some of those tomorrow on the day of the docking with the ISS. So I thought choc chocolate and docking almost sounded the same as well. Launch day licorice and the choco dock or something. I don't know, but that'll be about one o'clock tomorrow. 
um, unless it clashes with the docking, in which case I might have to move it. But this isn't even on the stream that it was supposed to be on. So just look out for a notification, hopefully. So I will see you all then. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to go off and do something to cool myself down considerably because it is ridiculously warm here and my living room, I think, is killing me. And um, yeah, I hope to see you all soon. I, I am also I'll, very much looking forward to tomorrow. Chocolate and spaceships. I mean, does it get any better? I don't know that it does. It's brilliant. So, <laughs> see you all tomorrow. Bye. How do I stop this thing?